like them who give me some food for thought changing the pasta you had in your heart hey What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Tyrell Clemens. I'm coming to my beautiful wife, Miss Wendy. And it's time for us to give you your breakfast for your soul, your food for thought. Look, y'all, we're going to make this one quick, but I want to talk about some things because Wendy and I, uh, we weren't in the hospital ourselves, but we spent some time in the hospital. And, and one thing I want to talk about is just the power of having a team. Mm -hmm. Like we were in the hospital, you have nurses, you have doctors, you have residents, you have attendings, you have the, the, the wait staff, anesthesiologists, so many different people working together in order to achieve a common goal. And what I want you to understand is in order to achieve some things, you must have a team. A team. See, a lot of people see this, this mentality. They hear people say, I pulled myself up by my own bootstraps. I made it happen. So I did this. Yeah, but what you don't understand is in order to achieve certain goals, in order to achieve certain things, you must have a team. Also, as far as it says to do all things, you gotta have a team to some list, to some respect. I mean, even to get to certain, you gotta have teachers, you gotta have this and the third. You gotta have a team. Uh, and, and teamwork is important. And what I want you to understand is having a team is a very important aspect of, of any level of success. And. For example, the care awards, which are coming on Saturday, I can't do that by myself. You gotta have a team. The law firms that I run, I can't do it by myself. I gotta have a team. And in order to achieve things, you have to have a team. So I'm talking to y'all this morning because somebody out there is trying to accomplish certain things on their own. I don't need nobody. I can do it all by myself. And I, I need you to change that mentality. I don't care how talented of a surgeon you are. I don't care how many years you went to school, how many fellowships you had, you still gotta have somebody to help you with that process. Mm -hmm. Same thing with anything you do in your life. I don't care how talented of a musician you are. I don't care how talented of an actor you are. Whatever it is, you have to have someone to help you with the process. So if you, in, in life, as, as you proceed to do whatever your goal is, whatever your dream is, one thing I want you to understand is you must have a team. I was watching um, Kobe, not Kobe Bryant, but Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley going back and forth, riffing on each other. And, and, and one thing that they were talking about was Charles Barkley was talking about how good uh, Michael Jordan's team was. Like a lot of folks try to emphasize how great Michael Jordan was, but uh, Charles Barkley, like, if I had Scottie Pippen, I've been in one championships too, because was, Michael Jordan had a good team. He might have been one of the greatest of all times, but he had a good team. He did. He did. And, and the thing is, you got to realize if you're going to be successful, you're going to win championships, whatever things you're trying to accomplish in your life, you got to have a good team. As so long as you have a good team. A good team. Well, that means everybody's playing their role. Everybody realizing that everybody can't be the one that's doing the talking. Everybody can't be the one doing the planning. It must be a team effort. So I want you to try to find a team. And if you get your team together, I guarantee you can be successful. So that is your breakfast for your soul, your food for thought. Bye. It's the clip, it's the